Welcome back to Tuesday Tofu. <laughs> okay. Welcome back to Tofu Tuesdays. And today's going to be a fun day. You know, with the uh, whole pandemic, many of us have been watching a lot of TV. And uh, we always want to have a snack to munch on. I know that I find myself there often. So I have a wonderful snack to share with all of you. It's called Crunchy Pretzel Snack Mix. And I'm excited because uh, these have a lot of ingredients that I love. So we're going to go ahead and start off with that. You see the list of ingredients there. Um, again, the reason we're doing these videos is because my 2021 New Year's resolution is to learn how to cook. I somehow managed to get this far in life without learning how to do major cooking. So I'm going to stretch myself and set a goal to learn how to cook and put food food preparation, put some food recipes together uh, with, with you all because, you know, it is intimidating for some of us. And I know there's a younger generation that's not always cooking. So, but if I can do it, you can do it too. And um, hope you can come along and see the um, amazing uh, work that I try and learn how to do and, and at the same time challenge yourself to do um, some of these recipes at home. Um, maybe not with your feet, but if you are skilled with your feet, you can always try that too. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and preheat the oven to 375 degrees, and I'm going to hop off here. I mentioned earlier in previous episodes that I have a pair of slippers that I always wear to keep my feet clean. So once I step on the floor, they are still clean, um, and I have a, a step stool here behind uh, that kind of gets in the way on occasion. Um, there's a step stool essentially that I step on to get up here on the island and I'm going to step on it again. But soon, soon I'm excited to say we will be resolving this challenge of having a step stool in the middle of the kitchen and uh, we'll have some renovations done. So that's going to be something to look forward to. I'm super excited about that. Okay, preheat the oven, 375. And bake. Okay, 375. Okay, okay, next will be to combine all of these different uh, ingredients that you see here on uh, the side of the island. Uh, we're going to start off with cereal squares. And the cereal squares, we have rice pockets and we have pops. So I'm going to grab those. Boxes are always challenging for me to get into, but I eventually break into them. And I went ahead and opened these up ahead of time. So we'll start off with the rice pockets. And uh, it says here, one cup of rice cereal squares, that's this, and one cup of the whole grain cheddar fish-shaped crackers. I'm going to get to that later. But uh, one cup of the unsweetened puffed corn cereal. So one cup of both of these, put it here in the big mixing bowl. I love these big bowls. They're fun. Okay. Uh, let's uh, take these measuring little cups here. This is half a cup and one cup. So a little bit of each. Slide that over. I have to be careful not to slide up the end of the island. Oh, there's a little piece that slipped out. Okay. Hopefully I won't make too much of a mess, so I'm going to go ahead and pour, pour into this uh, measuring cup. Well, if any of it falls out, I always have Chewy around to munch on anything that falls on the floor. So, he'll be happy about that. As someone commented in one of the other videos that dogs are great vacuums, I agree. That's about one cup. So, put that in there. Now move the ex excess aside for Chewy for, a, for a snack later. And put that aside, out of the way. One cup of pops. Oh, I think Chewy heard me say his name because he's actually headed over this way. You can't quite see him, but he's over sneaking next to the island, ready for his uh, snack. Okay, let's go with uh, one cup of this. Whoa, there goes a few. Again, Chewy is going to be happy today. Chewy, just be just be patient. Okay, that's one cup. 
Okay, let one of those fall off for him. Uh, here we go. So one cup of that. Next will be to uh, get the cra uh, crackers, and those are obviously the cheddar fish-shaped crackers. We're going to get one cup of that. I noticed the recipe calls for whole grain. You don't actually have to get uh, everything. You know, obviously some people don't want whole grain. Some people do prefer it. So it's totally up to you. So we'll get one cup of this. Crackers, puffed corn, uh, pretzels. Oh, we need pretzels too. So I'm gonna set that aside here. Get some pretzels out. And uh, it says here one cup of these as well. So I'll go ahead and add those in there. Again, if you just now joined, uh, my New Year's resolution for 2021 is to learn how to cook and prepare food with my feet. I managed to get by without doing too much of that, so I rely heavily on family, but I challenge you to do the same. If it's something you haven't done or it might seem intimidating, again, if I can do it with my feet, you can do it too. So let's get one cup here. There we go, close enough. That in here. Okay, Chewy, just wait. It'll be. He's she's over here, sneak trying to sneak up on the side of the island, <laughs> sneak a snack. Okay, so we got the pretzel balls. We have the cereal. Uh, we have the goldfish. Uh, now it says here um, peanuts in a large bowl. So the peanuts it says here one cup or half a cup of unsalted dry roasted peanuts. So. Half a cup, we'll bring that measuring cup out here. This is gonna be a fun uh, snack mix for sure for uh, so many of us who like to munch on occasion. Um, I kind of get hungry every three or four hours, so it's good to have some, something around to munch on. And peanuts are pretty healthy, I would say. But uh, mixing all of this together hopefully is, a, is healthy. I'm sure it is in some aspects. So here we go. Half a cup of this, maybe a little bit more. Let's see. Half a cup. Okay, and it says here, um, so that's all mixed in a large bowl. So I'll use this uh, nice little spatula here. I love having a thinner spatula like this one because of the fact that I can grip them between my toes a lot easier. Someone in a previous episode suggested some silicone um, uh, utensils, which I'm going to be looking for. But in the meantime, having really thin utensils helps me with uh, mixing things up and, and gripping a lot easier. Because I have a lot shorter toes than everyone, well obviously, compared to others' uh, fingers. Okay, Great. so that's all mixed in. It's all combined and mixed together. So next will be to combine soy sauce, oil, and the cayenne in a small bowl. So we have this small bowl here. Let me make some room and clear this, clear this out a little bit. So we have to go with soy sauce and um, obviously add the soy sauce, cayenne in a small bowl, uh, soy sauce mixture, to, and then we'll add that all together. So soy sauce, oil, and cayenne. Soy sauce as far, uh, let me see here, it says here, um, three tablespoons of reduced sodium soy sauce. Here we go, we have a tablespoon and we have, this is, um, we this forgot is, the oil. oh, we forgot the oil. Okay, so Patrick, thank you. My assistant back there, Patrick, he's the cook in the family, so he's the one who inspired this whole journey of learning how to cook, and um, of course, just taking on a new thing. Big? Um, that's good. I'll, okay. I'll make it work. So, three tablespoons of this reduced sodium soy sauce. So we'll start off with that here. I like soy sauce on my rice on occasion. It's good flavoring. Okay. I don't use my left foot as often as you see here. Um, I'm trying, I have to at this point, but I'm usually pretty much right foot dominant. 
but I'm trying to do more with my left foot. Okay, so the oven is ready. Let's go here, three tablespoons. Three, one. Ooh, a little bit more on that one too. So I'll, I'll make this third tablespoon a little less just because I poured, I poured a little bit too much in the previous. Okay, three tablespoons of that. Uh, one tablespoon of the canola oil, and it says one eighth tablespoon or teaspoon of cayenne, or we'll just call that a generous sprinkle. Okay, here we go. Set that aside. Okay, okay. Okay. It's actually easier to pour because it is lighter, so it uh, makes it easier when there's less in the bottle. Okay, one tablespoon of canola oil, and uh, we're gonna do a generous sprinkle of the cayenne. Uh, let me set this aside so it's not making too much of a mess. Uh, we'll have to wipe it off the counter later anyway. Okay, and uh, we are probably needing to uh, check on the oven here. I think it's ready, so I need to make sure that we get this in as soon as possible. I'll try to speed up things, do a generous, uh, a generous sprinkle of this. Again, for those of you who are just joining, um, I have a New Year's resolution to prepare food and cook with my feet. Um, it is a challenge for me. It takes a lot more time, but hopefully with more practice, I'll get faster and more efficient. And it might be intimidating for anyone to uh, cook. So, but if I can do it with my feet, then you can do it too. So I encourage you to try this at home as well. Okay, I think that's enough. We don't want to make that too spicy. Okay, enough of that. And it says, oh, and by the way, all of this is in a pre-recorded video because of the fact I have some exciting news. The kitchen is being remodeled to make it more accessible. And some of the things I mentioned earlier is I have a step stool here on the other side of the island. And um, in order to get, get up on the island, I have to put the step stool in the middle of the kitchen and it always gets in the way. So I have an exciting new accommodation that will be um, added to the island. You will see in the newly renovated kitchen. And because that's gonna take two months uh, we had to pre-record some of these videos, but again, I'm with you live anyway in the comments. But um, it's going to be exciting. I'm really excited. We've been able to pick out some of the things we want, and I'm excited to show you the accommodations. Okay, great. So next is add all of these uh, into a add soy sauce um, and in mixture to the serum mixture and toss well. So we're going to add all of this up. But let me mix this first before we toss this into there. Okay, it might be a little spicier than planned. I think I put a little bit more than an eighth of a teaspoon because I just sprinkled it in there. But spice is always good. Okay, okay. So we're going to add this all together and toss it. Okay, here we go. Trying to evenly distribute it inside. Okay, now it just says toss it all together and we'll put it into a uh, baking sheet. Put it all on, on a baking sheet. Make sure I get the bottom because that's where all the liquid is. Okay, scooping things from the bottom is more challenging. Um, so if you have a tool that you can suggest, please leave that in the comments. I'm always excited to hear about tools that you have, ideas you have. Uh, for me um, because anything that makes it easier saves time and it makes it it's less work for my feet. I'm sure it's easier for everyone as well. So I'm sure your comment will be helpful to others. Well that sauce is still kind of staying in the bottom but I'm doing my best. Doing my best to bring it up here. Okay so stir this around. It's always good to have snacks handy. A lot of us have been spending a lot more time at home 
Um, I've done my business from home. I'm a speaker, and a lot of my speeches have been virtual. So if you know of any companies that need a virtual speaker, I would help to teach resilience and the importance of looking at challenges in a different way and to stay positive. So please do uh, reach out on jessicacox.com. Okay, this is about ready to put onto that baking sheet. I think we are good. We're close enough. Okay, now, wow, I say that way too often. Anyway, here we go, the baking sheet. It just occurred to me, I'm trying to think of how I'm going to get this into the oven without uh, obviously uh, spilling this or um, causing it to clump in one area. So that will be the, the trick for today. So it says here to um, spread this all on a large baking sheet and we're gonna bake it for five minutes and then I'm gonna stir it again and bake until lightly browned and crispy and that'll be two minutes longer. Okay, here we go. Okay, that's close enough. There are a couple of little goo fishies that are on the bottom, but uh, that's good. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and put it over there into the oven for five minutes. Um, I mentioned earlier that I had this nice little oven mitt that someone made for me. It was originally for a hand, but uh, now I have it for my foot. It's been modified. Um, it would be neat to have one made specifically custom for my feet. Maybe one of these days I'll ask someone to, someone to sew something together for me, but it works because I can fit my big toe in there and the rest of my toes in the bigger spot and I just, uh, I'm able to use that grip. That's very important. Okay, so let's bring this over to the oven. Um, I'll open up the oven first and this is probably what I'm gonna do. I use my chin and shoulder a lot to hold on to uh, flatter things, plates, when I'm setting the table. It makes it easier for me than using my feet. So let me go ahead and pop this in the oven and start a five minute timer. Whew, it's warm in there. Oh, don't fall into the bottom there. Okay, I saved it. Alexa, start a five minute timer. We'll give that five, five minutes, minutes starting now. to bake, and then it says here I'll have to stir and then bake it for another two minutes, and it then should be ready. So it says to cool completely, of course, so we want to make sure that that's cool. I don't think there are many snack mixes that are cold, that are hot, so we do have to wait till it cools down, and then store it in an airtight container for up to one week. So great, something to munch on for a week. Um, just so that you all know, again, if you want to reach out on jessicacox.com, if you need a speaker, uh, if you'd like to find out more about my book called Disarm Your Limits, you can find that on Amazon and share that. There are eight principles of inspiration, as well as my foundation that helps people with disabilities. And you can go to jessicacox.com and find out more about the foundation. Uh, the foundation was recently given a very generous gift. In 2019, uh, Tim Treat called me up and said, I'd like to uh, give you the Air Coop airplane. And what an exciting day that was. That was all captured on Facebook as well. So be sure and watch that video. I think it has well over uh, maybe 300,000 views at this point. But anyway, it was an exciting day, but now this plane is gonna be used for inspiration. It's in the shop as we speak, but the goal will be to use it to inspire, to advocate, to take people up who have disabilities, to inspire them with aviation, as well as to just make sure the advocacy um, and education about disability is out in the media so that many people who may not be aware of the things uh, that people with disabilities can do and what they can achieve and um, that we're doing other great things in the world to help like the International Disability Treaty and different things that we do to, as a community to help make sure that people with disabilities are supported. Okay, great. I think we still have a few more minutes and I'm gonna to start to clean up some of this. Um, maybe I should ask if Chewy wants one of these uh, pieces is here, but I'll wait later. Okay, let me go ahead and check over and the oven is still working. Um, let me go ahead and throw all of this into maybe this bowl. That's a great way to catch all of this. 
I'll wipe it, I'll sweep it all up with my feet and put it into the bowl. Cleaning is not a favorite thing of mine, though I do like to have things very clean. <laughs> so I tend to do the dishes a lot. Um, uh, but uh, I, I, because Patrick loves to cook, but maybe I'll do more of the cooking and he'll do more of the um, dishwashing this year. So, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and, I, there's a special area that I give Chewy his snacks so that he doesn't learn to beg from the table. So I'm gonna actually put all of this extra stuff into this bowl here and show you all how I do that. It's a little slower, but I'll just have this bowl here on the edge of the island and then scoop this all in here. Hopefully not dropping it. Oh, a few fell on the floor, but anyways, Chewy will get it. Okay, so I'll put that there for Chewy and start to clean a little bit of this up. One of the other goals this year for 2021 is to get back on my recumbent trike and do some preparation for El Tour de Tucson. And there are multiple uh, options for El Tour. You can ride for 40 miles. You can ride for, say, 25 miles if you just are a beginner and want to have a nice uh, short ride. And I think you can ride up to 80 miles, if I'm correct. So there are different options. Um, it was postponed. It was originally going to be in November, but now will be in April of 2021. So if you're a cyclist and want to come out to Tucson, it is a beautiful time of year to come out and ride. Um, it'll be starting to warm up. Uh, in April. So it'll be a warm ride, I'm sure. It starts very early in the morning, but it's an exciting ride. Um, and you can come and see my recumbent trike. It's been modified for me to not only ride like this, like recumbents, but I also steer the bike, the trike, with uh, these steering rods that go from the handlebars where you normally steer the bike all the way up to um, to my rib cage, and I'm able to rock my body from left to right, and that's exactly how I steer that trike. Uh, when it comes to changing the gears, I actually use my right foot, and there's a gear selector button. Uh, originally, it was um, it was this little lever, but now it's a nice push button, and I essentially press down on the button, and it changes. It goes all the way up to eight different uh, levels of the gears, uh, and then for braking. I can use either my left foot or my right foot just like this to break and that's very critical but I do have to take my foot off the pedal in order to do so. And there's a five minute timer. Okay, so let me go ahead and use a spatula here and Alexa stop. Um, go ahead and stir up the rest of the, uh, hopefully they're nice and um, toasty. I'm going to have to pull this out though very safely so let me close that up make sure my oven mitt is on and then open up the oven and pull that baking sheet out and then mix it because I don't want to burn my toes but I'm going to pull the baking sheet out by pulling that little uh, level here inside the oven out oh here we go here we go okay Can't quite see it from uh, over there, I know, but I'm gonna go ahead and basically just uh, pull it over a little bit more so that you can see it. Okay. Oh, you know, if I'm on the other side, that might help. How's that? Ah, oh, there you go. Okay, so now you can all see. I have the spatula. I'm gonna toss it up here and mix it up a little bit more. And put it for another two minutes, it says. Okay, I think that's close enough. Let me use my toes. Again, in the mitt. I'm going to be very safe here. Press this back into the oven. Close this up. Alexa, start a two-minute timer. Start that timer. Two minutes. Starting now. And once it's finished, I'll have it up here and let it cool. And we will have snacks for a week. I don't know how long it will last, but it says it's good. It's good in an airtight container for up to a week. Um, and I hope you enjoy your uh, snack mix. I hope you can uh, 
Okay, one of the things I wanted to mention to you here, just so that you have an idea of the things that I see right here, is I actually see that it's 375. We have two more minutes on here. I dropped a towel, and let me look in the oven and see how everything looks. Uh, but let me get that light on. I know there's a light here that I could turn it on. Um, it's on top of the pan. Ah, I see it. Okay. So let me check how it looks in there. Okay. Oh, nice and toasty. Looks nice and golden brown. It looks like it's uh, doing well in there. Turn that light back off because I know that's something that always gets forgotten. Okay, thanks again for joining me. Another Tofu Tuesday. I hope you enjoy your snack mix. And again, if I can do this, you can do it too. My New Year's resolution is to learn how to prepare food and to do some more cooking with my toes and feet. It's intimidating. It takes me a little longer, but hopefully in time I'll get better at it. But more importantly, if I can do this, you can do it too. Thanks. Happy Tuesday and uh, see you next time. Well, I guess have we have 20 left. seconds left. 20 seconds left. Okay, I'll just pull it out. I'll go ahead and pull this out. Okay, sorry if um, I misled you. We're not ending the episode yet. I'm going to pull this out and show you how I'm going to do that with uh, eight seconds left. Slip my oven mitt on. Two, one. Okay, it should be ready now. Let me go ahead and open this up. This out. Looks good. Alexa, stop. Oh boy. This will be the trick. Pulling this out with one foot standing on one leg and bring it over there, but it's going to be too hot, so I'm going to leave it on top of the stove. Whoa. Quite the grip required. Okay, here we go. I think I got it, guys. I didn't have a handle like I did on that last uh, broiler. Okay. Looks beautiful. Let's wait till that cools down. Let me turn the oven off. Okay. Let's. Oh, wait. That's the other button. Okay. I'm press the off button. <clears throat> Just in time for one o'clock. See y'all. Take care.